Mission Control, do you copy? I copy, Captain Theo. How you doing up there? Good. We're about to leave our galaxy. Can you give us confirmation of your visuals? I can see a lot of planets from here. And some unidentified objects flying around too. Great to hear, Captain. All your parameters are go. I wish I was up there with you. Enjoy the flight. Mission Control, we have a problem. I took off from work tomorrow so we can hang out. You want to do something fun? Do you think we can go to the Space Museum tomorrow? We can't, bud. Dr. Koo said we have to avoid being in indoor public places for now. Just until your immune system gets strong, okay? I mean, we can go to the park or ride our bikes. What are you reading? Is that one of the new books Rita sent you? Um, yeah, actually, it's a book about words. It's, um, en entomology? <laughs> Etymology. Oh. Well, which one are you reading right now? It's the word important. It comes from the root word import, being of significance to bring in. So I guess it's like to make something or someone important is to um, import them into you. They become part of you. I never thought about it that way, buddy. Well, you're important to me, Theo. Well, if we can go to the Space Museum, I thought we can build our own spaceship. No way. What do you think? Think it will take us all the way up to the moon? <laughs> yeah. This is Theodore's father, Dylan. I'm so sorry for calling out so late. 
Yeah, he, he's been coughing a little bit more blood again. Yeah, um... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, I bring him in tomorrow morning. You've been such a great help, Dr. Cruz. Thank you. Have a good night. Permission control to Captain Theo. Permission to enter the room? Come in. Did you have fun today? Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna need a name. A strong name. Do you think we're ever gonna go out there? What do you mean? To space. If you want it badly and you work hard enough, you can achieve anything you want, buddy. Here, Dr. Cruz wanted you to take these. We're going to the hospital tomorrow morning, okay? I heard time goes by differently in space. <laughs> is that true? Oh yeah, I mean, out there, time is relative. It's no longer chronological as we experience it here on Earth. It, um, warps. Here. It's called gravitational time dilation. The closer you move to this massive object, like a star or a black hole, the slower time passes for you. Right? And the star gets so much mass that its gravity stretches the space-time around it. Wait, so it's basically like time travel. <laughs> well, yeah. If I'm out here on Earth, and you're closer to this massive star, in comparison to me, you're time traveling. And you know what the crazy part is? What? And neither one of us will feel a difference on how we perceive time. <laughs> but there's a different way to time travel. Well, what is it? There's some special moments in life where time moves differently. These are some important moments where everything seems to slow down, as if time itself just stops to watch the moment unfold. It's like when you win a sock game at last minute, or you'll be able to strum the chords of your favorite song just perfectly. When you see someone you love after a long time, or the birth of a child, for a brief moment, time stops. And you can always travel back to these important moments right here, because they're part of you forever. And this concept is called aeonic time you might find in the book you're reading. And when we're done building a spaceship, you're gonna need one of these. Whoa! Is that real? <laughs> Where did you get it from? <laughs> Hold on, bud, slow down. This right here is your passport to time travel, and all those aeonic, timeless memories. You put this on, you can go wherever you want to go. <laughs> this is Flight Commander Dylan from Mission Control. Are you ready for launch, Captain Theo? Mission Control, we are ready for liftoff. T minus five, four, three, Two, one, lift off. Godspeed, Captain.
Captain Theo for Flight Commander Dylan.